Um, thank you all for coming. Welcome to GSV Labs. This is our flagship location in Silicon Valley. It's going to be demolished in a couple of months, so enjoy it while it lasts. Um, you'll see us the next year um, in San Mateo, but you'll also see us in many more locations um, around the world, uh, including uh, Boston and a few other places that I'll speak to you about shortly. Um, GSV Labs is about six years old, and in the past six years, we've established a reputation as a hub to promote entrepreneurship, support startups, and develop uh, innovative solutions for corporate uh, innovations uh, around not just the Silicon Valley area, but in fact around the world. We've had about 200 startups that have come through GSV Labs. Uh, we have a community here today of about 100 startups. Uh, we have about 25 corporate engagements, um, and several of them are located here within the labs um, uh, as well. Um, we began the expansion that I'm going to be talking about very uh, uh, earlier this year with a location in Boston. Um, and uh, over these last um, six years or so, we built up a reputation of being a great place to locate um, startups uh, and corporate innovation uh, systems in ed tech, in AI, in cloud, uh, in sustainability, mobile, entertainment, digital health, FinTech, IoT, and cybersecurity. So these are the kinds of trends that you find here um, in, um, in the labs. Um, over these last six years, as I said, over 200 startups, we have about a 400 investors around the world um, who invest in our companies. They've raised about $300 million, and they're supported by an expert mentor network uh, around the world uh, who help, uh, help these startups uh, achieve the... Uh, the objectives by which uh, they have been set up and which brings them to, um, uh, through to uh, GSP Labs. As I said, we also support corporate innovation around the world. Uh, many of our um, corporate uh, clients are in the U.S., but several are in um, the Mideast and other areas as well. Uh, these companies come to us because they're interested in finding ways to significantly improve their own abilities to innovate, while at the same time connecting themselves with um, innovation opportunities in the startups that are located here uh, in, our, uh, in our community. So they both want to jumpstart their own innovation capability, but also want to be connected to wherever innovation is taking place uh, so that they are uh, at the forefront of the changes that are taking place, that they can ride the waves of the future and that they're familiar with what's going on in different parts um, uh, in, and in different sectors. We began, uh, as I said, in um, uh, Boston last uh, quarter. One of the objectives there was to establish um, the kinds of corporate partnerships that um, we think are going to be important to allow companies to innovate. And part of that was an example where we set up a, uh, an accelerator program with Fidelity that allowed them to connect with several promising fintech startups. Uh, Fidelity's objective was to learn about what's going on uh, in fintech. And of course, for the companies, this is a, for the startups, it's a great opportunity to connect with um, the, some of the premier corporate customers uh, in their field. We also launched in uh, Boston with a um, startup challenge. Over 200 companies applied for about $250,000 of funding each. Uh, this was in partnership with uh, Google Developer Launchpad and some of the winners from that area in FinTech as well as in health tech, we hope will go on to very, very promising um, outcomes. This is our Boston location, just to give you a flavor of um, the kinds of events that are taking place there as well. Um, Michael spoke about trends, um, the, the tailwinds for uh, GSV Capital, and I'd like to talk a little bit about the tailwinds for GSV Labs and why we believe that what GSV Labs has created and is about to create um, is taking advantage of some of the most important trends around the world. And I'm going to just touch on them very briefly. Um, but firstly, of course, urbanization. And I think Michael spoke about the growth of mega cities. Um, but you know, over half the world's population now is going to live in cities, 
and stimulating demand then for living, for working, for infrastructure, for education, for skill development in ways that we've not seen uh, in the past. Coupled with the growth of urbanization is the growth of entrepreneurship. Uh, about 40% of the people, uh, of workers in the US today work for themselves. Uh, that number is about to rise to 50% uh, in the coming decade or so. Uh, some people call it the gig economy, some people call it the innovation or startup economy. But the fact is that more and more people are engaging in entrepreneurship and are working for themselves. These people need spaces that will support their activity. They need communities in which they can, uh, with which they can interact. Um, and, they be, and they need to be able to build networks of resources that allow them to, um, uh, to make their uh, entrepreneurial activities successful. Coupled with all of this um, is the importance of lifelong education and upskilling and reskilling. Uh, companies like Coursera, who you'll hear from uh, later today, and others um, have um, experienced exponential growth because uh, increasingly uh, people are realizing the importance of lifelong learning and the importance of continuing to upskill and reskill throughout their careers. Um, so as we see urbanization and as we see the growth of, um, uh, we see the growth of entrepreneurship, uh, we also see the growth of the need to upskill and educate throughout the careers. And this is also taking place in the corporate environment. So upskilling, reskilling, and lifelong learning aren't just for startups or for individuals, but within corporate environments, this is increasingly an important part of uh, their strategic um, objectives. And you'll hear from Leah Belsky of Coursera talk about uh, Coursera's B2B business and how that's grown uh, significantly over the last couple of years. And finally, the imperative for innovation within companies. Uh, Michael spoke about, the, gave you the example of Kodak, uh, and that I think is an example that exists for all companies today. If they don't continue to innovate, if they don't continue to change the pace of innovation in their companies, uh, they are going to go in the dustbin of history. So those are the kinds of mega trends that are supporting the work that we do here in GSV Labs. We are an innovation platform that essentially provides entrepreneurs, startups, and corporations the opportunity to work, learn, and transform in key cities around the world. And I think the three key themes of this are very important. One, work. The second, learn. And the third, transform. Uh, we provide the opportunity for companies and startups and entrepreneurs to locate here uh, in Silicon Valley, in our location in Boston, and as I'll tell you, several other locations around the world that we are building. Um, we build communities here. These are communities of like-minded people uh, solving like-minded problems. Some of those problems span different sectors. Some of them are within uh, the same uh, sector. But we allow them to share mentorship, investor, and corporate networks, and we curate for them uh, services that are important and essential for them to make their startups successful. We also provide learning opportunities, entrepreneurship-focused programs, uh, experts and mentors from diverse industries that can help them educate and uh, reskill and upskill their employees, um, learning and content-based best practices, and then uh, very soon you'll see programs from some of the top education providers around the world. And finally, the ability to transform, to innovate, the ability to uh, take the work that we're doing within a company and be able to turn key, turn key projects that allow them to take an idea all the way to product as quickly as possible. What you see here today and what you'll see in, in Boston, if you visit, is the first in a global network of um, GSV Labs locations uh, that we are going to launch in the next few years. In this next phase, in addition to our Silicon Valley location and our location in Boston, You'll see new locations in Shenzhen and Beijing, in Delhi and Bangalore, in Sao Paulo, uh, and in London. With that, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. We have terrific panels here, but also take the opportunity to walk around and meet with some of the startups that are located uh, in this, uh, 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 in this uh, space. Um, there are also several companies that are located here, and I encourage you very strongly to spend some time chatting with them during the day. Thank you very much.